So lately, Hua Ling has become a very big problem here in T3 Arena, but what if I told you that it's not because the Hua Ling players are as good as you think they are, but rather that the hero itself is actually broken, and what I mean by that, guys, is that her hitbox is busted. So many people in the comments have brought this to my attention, but have a look here at what I mean by this. Clearly, I'm aiming way above the mark's head here, but if I shoot it, it still kills him, and this is a very, very big difference. If you look at this, how tall Mark is as a character, there is no reason as to why I should be able to aim that high over his head and still get the kill. Now, you might argue, well, if you're aiming that high over his head, then if you bring it down, I should hit him in the body, but even by bringing it all the way down to here, I am still able to hit him in the head. So the reason why walling players are becoming disgusting is have a look at the aim assist. So this game also has like pretty strong aim assist in general. And I'm going to show you guys here on the hand cam if you can see it clearly. But the aim assist, the way it works is when you're within the vicinity, it sort of snaps and it brings it towards it. Now, this is a very, very, very big problem because when you also start to take it over his head, this is the only character where this happens. The aim assist is still registering. It is not letting me see how it's like letting me drag across. When I get here, it's stuck and it's registering over his head as an aim assist box, meaning that it's registering his head being that big. So shooting over it still gets me the kill. And that is a very, very big issue. And if you're this close to somebody and you're able to hit that far over their head, it means that when you're further away, you have all of this extra room to just fire something above his head and still be able to find yourself a kill. I don't think this is meant to be done. I think that her hitbox has a huge issue and the aim assist above the hitbox just makes it even worse. So everybody has a really, really big head when it comes to Hua Ling. And then you throw in the fact that she has this broken ultimate that's a free kill on anyone and the fact that it has all of this AOE damage and even if you do somehow manage to miss the head, you hit them in the body, you're able to throw down the ability and get the kill. This is the reason why Hua Ling is extremely strong right now. So in today's video, we're going to hop in, play some games with Hua Ling, and continue to shoot shots well over people's heads and get those headshot kills that make everybody so annoyed. So keep in mind, I am not a Hua Ling main, and she is one of my lowest glory level heroes. But now that I'm fully warmed up, watch what's about to happen with this character and how I can just aim clear over their head and just get headshots. Did you just see what happened to that Osas? Did you just see what happened to that Sindri? It's about to be the same story over and over. I just aim near them. I look for the above the head and get the kill for free. I cannot wait, bro. Like, this needs to get nerfed because I think the character is actually made pretty well. I'm going to be honest with you. It's just with a hitbox that big... You don't have to be as accurate as it seems. It's like you just aim a body. That is crazy to me. And I'm so glad I'm, I'm so glad you guys continue to comment this kind of stuff. Because I'm just like, I was actually getting concerned that people were just cracked. Which they're still good. Don't get it wrong. Like, if you end up playing this character enough to where you figure out the exact time to let it go. And then on top of that, the heads are that big. Of course, you know. Like, and there will still be very good walling players. By the time all of this is said and done. But until... <laughs> like, look, everything is headshot. Until they fix this, we won't be able to see the true skill gap. The true players that... And I believe that there are true Hualings that are actually very good. And this right here is going to uh, damage their reputation, per se. I'm going up. <laughs> balance. Balance ulti. I'm trying to tell y'all. Like when you get good enough, you get the sensitivities down. You do, this is actually a, it's a sniper that's a close range hero, bro. That's kind of ridiculous. It's just aim right above their head. Free. Especially once you get the left and right movement down. Look at our look at our left and right whiffs. There's no such thing as whiffing up and down. It's just either there if they're oh 
Oh, shit. Let me back off. Because right now we're missing the we're missing the left to right there. They're jiggling pretty well. Keeping their feet active. That's what you got to do against the Hualing. But ultimately, the closer they are to you, I'm telling you, she's actually a close range hero. No joke. No joke. <laughs> Blossom. <laughs> 21 kills to 20. Literally only Hualing can pull that kind of game off. 16 and 0. Come on, bro. So of course we've got an enemy hauling and then on top of that we're defense but on top of that they have a Aletta so this is going to be pretty pretty toxic right? We got a diff out hauling whilst also figuring out a way to stop Aletta. Now look at her bro. Of course you're so aware. I have the high ground. I have the high ground. <laughs> okay, how's my team doing? Nice. Oh. Big hitbox, nothing you can do. Watch out, gang. Oh, if she does that ultimate, that's light. No. I can't kill them, dude. Oh, that could have been crazy. No, though. Man, that's a good, I mean, it's a good ultimate from her. I don't know if she planned that or timed it if we both just hit our ultimates at the same time. I could have got mine off a little bit sooner. That would have clutched it. But at least we've gotten our payload off the initial stages. Nice. Sit down. Sit down. That's going to be halfway to the payload. Halfway to the destination. She's really looking at me. My team's shooting at her. She's looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're dead. Literally look like, where is it? Come on, bro. I have to go up. Oh, I read you like a book. Madame Buzel, there's nothing you could do. Ah, they already know I'm here. My whole plan's ruined. Getting off. I wasted that ultimate. That's huge. Where's that? We're on the payload? Okay, we are. Just making sure. She doesn't have hers, so I can use mine. <laughs> Let's go, dude. So this is why this becomes a very big issue. Now, when you think about it, a character like Hua Ling is supposed to be really high skill cap, but if anybody can run around in the game and headshot you with this character, then that means that the team that has the Hua Ling is at a very big advantage, right? If you don't have a Hua Ling on your team, 
and their team can guarantee land headshots, how do you win the game? So then it just becomes a hauling diff. Like who's who has the hauling? Who like who can shoot above the enemy's head and get the kill? Like, or you can whiff like me. Oh my goodness! Said I was warmed up. Okay, there goes the headshot. Let's lock in here though. I want to show you, continue to show you guys this power. And this is all for the purposes of showing, right? People need to be able to see this kind of thing. Because when change, like when you, if you, when you want change, bro, people got to be able to see this. This is definitely not okay. And I am definitely dead through the floor. <laughs> We've got our ultimate ready to go though. And hey, lazy, lazy Kaz, I know you're watching this video, bro. Let me, let me, let me catch a nerf. All right, let me catch a nerf, bro. Holy. <laughs> Okay, I'm going up. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could kill him without having to do that, but my goodness. Can you peek me? I'm going up. This ain't it. Oh. Well, you can actually, if you're above it, you can see pretty clearly into that. Hmm, I lost track of him. All good. No, Cosimo, please! No, <laughs> he comes up and hits the ult. He hits the, the shot on the way up to the top. Who's in second place right now? Uh, okay, Mark. Let's steamroll now. We just gotta be on the lookout for big boy Kazuma. Goodness, I'm getting targeted now. As you guys should, bro. As you guys should. Take down the Hua lane. That's what I'm talking about. Form, form an alliance. Take down Hua. That won't be good enough, though. This time we're going to stick to the outside. Sometimes in this, in this map it works when you work the inside of the map, but sometimes it turns out like that to where things don't work out as well as you want it to. So you just have to sort of adjust on how your lobby's play style is. I'm going up. I might be dead. Always oh, with the Cindery. I'm actually. I feel like I'm getting third partied into next year. This is the most like I've said this before. I think in one other video, but sometimes in some games, some of these free falls, you feel so congested. It just feels like everyone's on you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so this team is a lot tankier. They've got the Victor and the Ruby and Shield. So overall, a very good counter comp to a Hualing composition because I'm pretty sure the one shot headshot is 7,000 health. So it's for the squishier troops. And then their one squishy is an invisible character that can like hide into the smoke. So really, they got the good counter comp here. My man's got the movement, bro. I can't predict it. Here comes Johnny Jet, bro. But my scan does... Oh, it revealed him for a second. Yeah, we have the we have the AoE at least. The AoE Kazuma to, to lock down the Johnny Jet. <clears throat> we just got to figure out a way to deal with the Ruby. Because one headshot's not going to be enough. And I can't predict this Victor at all, bro. I don't know why... We gotta get out of there. Shield's too good. There we go. Looking a lot better. Any one of you guys keep moving this? I'm trying to find an open angle here on the Ruby. I'm, not just, I'm just not playing that close. There's no way. Target. Dude, 
Do we live? Oh, we live. Let's go. Nice. Really, we just need one body shot for me and one body shot from Kazuman. They die every time. Our Victor doing a great job being a bully. No way we finesse like that. No way we finesse like that, right? Slow her down and hide on the payload. 